Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome to a TDM gameplay on drone. I don't often play this map, it's one of those maps along with Turbine and I think there may be one of the map that I really dislike on Black Ops 2 uh, but like the big maps that you play I really do not like to play so oftentimes I'll just back out of the lobby if it's been voted in but I found this lobby in 6v6 TDM and the guys on the other team were the biggest casual players of all time. I'm not trying to shit talk them, I'm not trying to say oh they're bad at cards, honestly I don't really care how good someone is at Call of Duty, it's not one of these uh, defining factors of someone's personality it doesn't it doesn't bother me but I'm just saying that they weren't too good which allowed me to get this good gameplay on them if you're wondering what it is it's a 45 gun streak a flawless TDM on drone with the AN94 and hopefully you guys enjoy it so the attachments that I'm using are the quick draw uh, the stock attachments and also the extending mags and I was also using bouncing betties the reason I was using bouncing betties was because this is actually one of my free fall classes that I like to use and I just decided that I wanted to try and get a nuclear with the Viper camo which you can see me using here at the moment as well so anyway the only reason I stayed in to play 6v6 TDM on drone which is something that I wouldn't usually do uh, because it's one of those maps where I usually back out is because I found the greatest lobby of all time this is like I think it's the same lobby I got my right shield gameplays in uh, I recognize one of the names on the other team I believe his name is Pragmatic Wing 7, look, he was on my team, look, he just got a kill with a B23R. Uh, it's an Xbox Live generated game, and that guy, Emperor Zorg, he was playing in split screen, he split screen and didn't get a single kill, and he got 12 deaths, and it was a good time for me because it was just easy kills. So, uh, if you're looking to play against bad players, you know, I get a message every now and again, you know, how do I play against players that are as bad as this all the time? And I think people get the wrong idea. People think that I play against the worst players of all time. All the time and it's just not the case if, if you watch one of my live streams you'll see that I come against tryhards I come against the players that everyone else does because I'm just another player my stats aren't the worst they're not the best because I try to get the diamond pistols and the diamond snipers pretty quickly and that kind of ruined my stats to begin with so I've got like a I believe my KD is around a 2.6 I've got a 500 score per minute and I think my win loss is just below one so my stats aren't exactly bad I didn't reverse boost or anything uh, so the players that I come against are probably you know the same as uh, the players that you are coming against it's just that uh, the play the videos that you see me upload these are cherry picks it's completely cherry picked if I upload one video a day you can think of that as being the best gameplay that I got throughout the whole day of playing Call of Duty I may play card for three hours in one day trying to get some gameplays and the one video that I upload is the gameplay that I do the best on in the entire session so it's not as if I have the secret to getting into these uh, really good lobbies, but I do have some good tips for you. The um, If you want to play against some casual players that are not really sure of what they're doing, play 6v6. Uh, I find it to be a lot more relaxed and a lot uh, easier to get better gameplays in 6v6 just because there's less going on, there's less C4s being thrown around, there's less tryhard people. Because if you think about it, the, you know, the biggest tryhards in Call of Duty, I'm not sure if that's a... I'm not using that as a derogatory term, by the way. It's okay if you try hard in Call of Duty, I guess. Uh, I'm a try hard in Call of Duty, but the, the people that want to get these gameplays are playing 9v9 because it's more people. So you want to try and avoid that if you want to come against uh, worse players. And also, if you're playing in the morning compared to like 3am, don't play at 3am, play at 8am instead. The people that you're going to be playing against are a lot more casual and are in turn a lot worse at the game. And I don't know how this guy didn't see me and he managed to run off look. Uh, so those are any tips I have for you guys if you want to come into these good lobbies. I don't really set out to play against really bad players. It's not as if I set my alarm for half past seven and I wake up and I'm like, yeah, let's go and play COD. I wake up at like 1 p.m., uh, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. every day uh, just because that's the sleeping schedule that I am currently working on. Uh, the only thing I have to do at the moment is YouTube and Twitch TV. So the money that I earn through those, I pay my rent with. So YouTube is the only thing I have to do. So I just wake up whenever I want to. It's kind of nice, but uh, I am looking forward to university to give me something to do. And this is the kill I was talking about. My man's just sitting in a doorway. He was probably having a little bit of fun uh, with the automatic door, seeing how it works or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, it's not as if I'm, you know, I'm just going to skip back to the topic that I was talking about, playing against bad players. It's not as if I set out to play against bad players. I don't mind a challenge. Uh, a lot of you guys, if you've been watching my live streams recently, you'll see that I've been playing a lot of league play. And in league play, there's a lot of good players. There's a lot of bad players. But there's also a lot of good players and you're playing it to get a challenge that's what you're trying to do and it's actually a lot of fun and um i actually really enjoy it as well so hopefully you guys enjoy this video you can see here it's the last 10 kills and i believe i get most of the last 10 kills as well which is pretty cool so so as this video is coming to an end now we're in the last nine kills i just wanted to ask you guys what video you would like to see for tomorrow's uh, gameplay so i have a few saved up but the two i'm gonna limit it to is an m12 16 shotgun nuclear on raid uh, that was in 6v6 tdm 
Or you can have a 63-0 flawless nuclear with the Chicom, and I was using uh, Stealth Chopper and Escort Drone that gameplay as well, so a lot of the kills with that. It's not as if I went on a 63 gun streak. So uh, leave, a, leave a comment, M1216 or Chicom, and I'll go through and have a look, and I'll count them all up using... Uh, Control and F just to make sure it's accurate and I will make that video for tomorrow So thank you so much for watching this video guys if you enjoyed it and you got this far uh, I would really appreciate a like rating. There's last kill cam for the 45 and 0 which is just insane And I will speak to you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye